After the singer's farewell performance in Sydney, an Australian photographer accused Taylor Swift's father of striking him in the face. Despite this, the father has managed to avoid prosecution. When the said event happened in the wee hours of February 27, Swift had just wrapped up her final Australian performance of the era's tour. She had taken her father, 71-year-old Scott Swift, to the ferry wharf in Neutral Bay from Homebush, where Scott was allegedly accused of assaulting 51-year-old photographer Ben McDonald, who was waiting. The North Shore Police Command opened an inquiry into the reported incident. Taylor Swift's representative claimed at the time that the photographers were acting in an aggressive manner. Taylor claimed that two people were forcing their way toward her violently, pulling at her security guards, and threatening to throw a female employee into the lake. The only woman present at the scene, according to Matrix Media Group CEO Mr. McDonald, was Taylor, who attacked the statement as utter rubbish. This is the kind of bulls asterisk asterisk tea I might expect. Mr. McDonald remarked, which girl was that? Taylor was the sole person present. Scott was seen throwing photographers the finger as he walked along the pier in video from just before the reported fight. According to Mr. McDonald, the purported confrontation was captured on camera and did not depict the photographers behaving violently. When he discovered the purported attacker was the pop star's father, he was taken aback since he had initially assumed it was a security officer. Mr. McDonald added that he was unsure of what precipitated the purported attack. I have taken pictures for 23 years, and I have never seen anything like it, he remarked. She walked towards the security guards who were shoving umbrellas in our faces after getting off the boat. Taylor and her father were seen in the video of the purported incident approaching the pier while carrying big umbrellas that obscured their view. When Mr. McDonald heard someone instructing him not to touch the umbrella, he opened fire. The photographer claimed he was left with extremely sore chops on the left side of his face but did not require medical attention. All throughout his daughter's sold-out era's tour, Scott has been a constant by her side. He received appreciation for giving away sandwiches to supporters during a Sydney performance and telling them to help yourselves. Extra tickets were made available the day before Taylor's first performance in Melbourne last month, however the majority only offered a limited view of the stage. In order to provide enthusiastic supporters with access to better seats, Scott went about giving them VIP passes.